Right then, hello and welcome back to Talker Race Driver 3 as we crack on with the final championship in Tier 25. It is, of course, the 1980s Williams Grand Prix. And as you can see, as I mentioned before, we've already completed these championships. So, uh, yeah, just have to go through them again. Uh, we've got the lovely Williams Honda FW11B. We have finished second or above in the championship. Races in, five laps around Zandvoort, four laps around Spa, four laps around Silverstone Grand Prix, and three laps around Bahrain to finish it off. Uh, the rules end, 20 cars on the grid black black and white flags points go down to sixth place and they are using the good old 80s points format this time in the correct way right the lovely gorgeous williams honda fw11 b jld motorsport is a team we're racing for 540 kilograms and 800 brake horsepower no more information is available and we're driving car at number six by looks of it hooray right zandvoort n4 race one and this should be absolutely fine. Uh, this is the only race as well with mandatory pit stops for some unknown reason. Yeah, we've already won a championship, so you don't have to tell me twice. And again, I will mention that the uh, sim handling and everything is turned on. These cars just handle really well with the, uh, the option. Oh, when they're not pushing right the way, that is. And they have destroyed my car. As you can see, my wheels are bouncing in the distance. Okay, take two. Okay, Off we go. Well, that is wrong for a start because uh, we need a top two finish in this championship, not a top three. Dozy old git. Right, I will mention again that the simulation handling is on for this championship as well as it was for... Yes, I know, uh, as it was for the Type R Trans Cup. Um, but these cars are exceptionally good at handling with the uh, sim handling turned on and everything. So, unlike 1960s Grand Prix cars, these cars are phenomenal. I would say these were my favourite cars to drive in the game so far up to this point. Yeah, I'm going to come in now, so don't worry. There we go. F2. I need you to shut up. That's what I need. Now, because the tires are cold and they take ages to warm up, uh, we're going to be sliding around all over the place. But again, these cars are exceptionally good at handling and you can control it very easily. Uh, the biggest concern, though, is when uh, other cars come out of the pits. Uh, going through that little left-right or right-left sequence, they always slam on their brakes a hell of a lot. So you have to be very lucky not to go up their chuff. And if you do, it's the end of the road because, uh, yeah, your wheels pop off and you retire from the race. So you have to start all over again. Stay focused on the road ahead. You're leaving the car behind by five seconds. Well, yeah, because we both pitted at the same time, you dozy git. That's what usually happens. So we should be able to jump everybody else who are going into the pits and uh, win this race fairly easily. So the first group have gone in. And we should pass them before they come out of the pits. Yep, just about. That's good, that's less of a headache going through the left-right complex. So up into 12th place, the second group will go into the pits after this lap, and then the third and final group will pop in thereafter. And then we should be able to assume the lead, take the victory for race number one.
Okie dokie. And the second group are in the pits now. They're just coming out. Uh, the pole sitter is among them. Now this is a problem area because they are going to slam on their brakes as you can see. So you've got to tiptoe around them because they won't give you any room whatsoever. Yes, I'm going to do it. It's fine. Okay, so the final group are in the pits now. We're going to pass them. And I should be able to take the lead. Yes, I know. I'll take the lead here. Or going through this little complex at least. I'll take the inside line because they always take the outside. Pass him there. And there we go. So that is race one wrapped up. Uh, the main race that we're probably not going to do well at is going to be the race at Silverstone. And that is purely for the fact that the AI are very quick there, and it's pouring down with rain. Yeah, fun times are going to be had. And I say that sarcastically. But we're pulling away nicely, so... And there we go. Race number one and victory number one. Handbrake it across the line as well. And we get completely taken out right at the end. So, yeah, good fun. And there we go then. So we get the maximum 10 points. Six for Murphy, four for Ransford, three for Trent, two for West, and one for Wood. I will save the replay as well. Uh, in slot number two. Thank you very much. Uh, see, this makes it more convenient as well. So I have to keep editing out the replay and this, that, and the other. So I can just carry on going nice and smooth as we head to race number two, Spa GP. This one isn't too bad either. This one's actually quite easy. And off we go. I should be able to get a good jump going through turn one. Well, not quite. But even though that contact, we got no damage. And we're able to draft nicely, so we should be able to outbreak some of these. Going into the complex. Thank you. Right, you two get out of the way. Get the ass end out. And again, we don't have to worry about pit stops on this one. It's only the race at Zanvoort that has the mandatory pits. All the rest don't, so... No idea why they decided, oh yeah, okay, we'll make the first race a mandatory pit race. And not all of them. Seems a bit bizarre to me.
I thought that said shit on the back of his wing there. That's not a shift. Oh, there's my teammate. All right, we'll just take the lead. We are in first place. Shut up. Is he driving car number six as well? I believe he is. Oh, no, is that car four? No, that's car four. No, it is car six. Okay. Sorry, I'm too preoccupied looking at his uh, car number on the front nose. Because I think we're car six as well. Yeah, we are. That's a bit cheeky. They gave us two cars exactly the same. They should have made the other one car zero as it was when Nigel Mansell drove it. So again, this race is quite an easy one. Nothing to worry about too much. And again, if the car starts losing grip on the rear end, you can control it really easily and make a, a really nice power slide out of it. Okay, through the bus stop again. Oh! Half spin. No, I don't want to go into the pits. Whoopsie. No, you don't. Okay, they're crashing into each other. That's fine. That would have probably ended up like the uh, the start of the 1998 Belgium Grand Prix. Well, only my car would lose its wheels because the AI's wheels don't come off. Which is a shame. The time for stopping the wheel. And if you have not seen the start of the 1998 Belgium Grand Prix, then I highly recommend you go and do a, a quick search on YouTube for it. It's a rather messy situation. And that was just a silly mistake on my part. Going a bit wide. Lost a bit of the grip on the rear tires. But this is fine. Yeah, it says quick shift on the back of his wing. I thought it said quick shit. I was like, oh, that's a bit rude. But no, it was just me not reading correctly. There we go. No problem. Retake the lead. Don't spin it up this time. Hooray. Okay, one more lap to go. I actually have to use the handbrake to get around that corner properly because, again, with the aerodynamic forces of these old F1 cars, is that if you go around the corner at slow speed, the downforce doesn't do anything, so you end up understeering off into the corner. So, uh, tapping the handbrake just to flick the rear end out a little bit tends to work wonders. Oh. Blame the bumps on that one.
Everyone seems to be struggling on their tires now. Oh, for God's sake! That is such a pain in the ass when it happens. I went a little bit wide. That is not worth five seconds of time penalty. Oh, for God's sake, that is such a piss take when it does that. So I'll probably end up fourth. Great. Cheers for that, then. I'll save the replay again. I don't actually know where the replays are saved. I couldn't find the option where to view them. Uh, so we're still leading anyway. 13 points to 10 from O'Sullivan. Silverstone, it's raining. And this race is one of the uh, the biggest pains in the ass. Go! Now, my biggest problem with this race is the fact that your car is the only car that lacks grip in these wet conditions. The AI don't have that problem at all. So you are the only one that is sliding around and floundering about. As you can see. And you cannot do anything about it at all. But they're absolutely fine. Coloration of that car looks a bit like the old Braun GP from 2009. Oh. Oh, and yeah, that happens as well. They do love to spin you out. And again, they don't pick up the same amount of damage as you do, so their wheels will never pop off, and they will never retire from the race properly. So yeah, this is one of the, uh, the biggest letdowns of this championship. But we'll keep fighting. We're not going to score any points on this race either. We're just, you know, lacking the uh, the pace and the uh, positions. Oh, and again, get taken out by the bloke behind us. And again, that is another reason why I hate this race. Why I hated this race in the previous recording that I did this championship. I know you can do better. Shut up. Feel. Just shut up. Um, yeah, that was happening throughout the entire race. No matter what position you were in, you were getting spun out by the AI. You couldn't really put any grip down onto the track either. And it was just an absolute mess. So uh, I didn't score any points on the first attempt of this either, so... So, uh, I think, to be honest, as we're not going to score any points, you've already seen what it's like, I'm just going to retire from the race, and uh, we'll go on to the last race of the championship, so, uh, yeah, um, you know, drop back by three points, but if we win the next race, then we'll win by a single point, uh, because there's a four-point gap between, uh, first place and second so we just got to win the race and then we win the championship again and away we go and this race is very easy Yeah, it's fine. And the points leader currently is the leader. 
Oh! No idea what happened there. Now, luckily, that big bump coming up before the back straight doesn't affect these cars because of the downforce. So get out of the way, please. Oh, too wide. I'm well, surprised it didn't give us a five second bloody time penalty for that one. You strayed a quarter of an inch off the circuit. Five second time penalty. So this is like the Senna Prost era. Who will win the championship? You're doing brilliantly. Stay focused and you'll take this guy. Yeah, we've taken him. And there we go. Uh, so, yeah, if I win the race and he finishes second, we'll win by a single point. Which we should do quite easily. As long as I don't make any mistakes. I don't know why I'm trying so hard to win the championship again, because we've already won it. It doesn't matter what position I finish, it's really daft, but oh well, there you go. Racer's mentality, I suppose. It's a shame the wing mirrors don't work either. Instead of having to look back all the time. But then the same thing about the uh, the normal cars that you drive. Um, there is no rear view mirror that you can see, but there is a working rear view mirror if you look left or right, depending on uh, what side of the car the steering wheel is on. Um, so I don't know why they put the field of view so close to the dashboard. It is really bizarre, because there is a working rear-view mirror that you can see. I was going to say wing mirror there. I was getting stumbled over my words, but... You're in the lead now. Stay focused. I'm not even trying, so this race is easy to win. And the bloke in third place is catching up to second place as well. So he might be able to make a move. I wonder what Scotty's going to say at the end. Oh, you dodged a bullet. Or, you're through, you've come a long way. You know, the usual tripe he comes out with. And stick it in sixth gear. And just saunter over the line. Yes. Yeah, dodged a bullet. Yeah, dodged a bullet. I knew it was going to be one of them. Um, so, yeah, there we go. We win the championship by a single point. Uh, save the replay for that as well. Yeah, why not? Thank you very much. So, yeah, there we go. 23 to 22 over Schroeder.
And there we go. Congratulations, you have your you have your goal in the 1980s Williams Grand Prix Great Drive. And now, as always, we can use the car in free race time trial and multiplayer modes. But that box isn't there anymore, so there you go. Anyway, next time then is tier 26, and again, we have these championships on offer. The DTM, the Mitsubishi Motors Rally Trophy, and the Ultima Can-Am Tour. The poll is already active on the community tab, um, so make your choices. Whatever you want me to do first gets the uh, least amount of votes. Whatever I do last gets the most amount of votes. Simple as that. So anyway, for now, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you very much for watching, as always, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.